Hello and welcome to the Power BI Week Num Date function, which helps us find out the week number. So, if you are uh, interested in knowing what the week number your date is referring to, or let's say you want to do some calculations uh, that is based on the week number, but you don't have the week number in your data set, then in this video, I want to show you two things. First thing, is uh, how you can create a calendar automatically i mean that's one thing which i have shown earlier as well but in this video i will repeat it and the second thing is uh, from that date how why, how you will identify the week number so that's the information i will going to show you in this video and before i do that just a quick information that this link which is a google spreadsheet link where i keep all of my videos is present here in the description of the video so that means if you want to search any of the video that i have posted then you can search it very easily either by pressing ctrl f or filter or anything or and then after searching you can jump to the video using the link that is present in column p so this is to help you easily um, search and find the video you are looking for also you can keep it as a bookmark of your for your repository or something as a handy uh, book for yourself where all these videos are present also i have some exercises here which you can take that is also uh, in the power bi so this is a feature explainer videos and this is the exercise all right so with that information let me go to the power bi so here i am in the power bi what i have already downloaded is the superstore data set that's a sample superstore data set i use pretty much in f in all of my videos and uh, over here if you see this is a column where we have the dates like 20th of october order was placed 31st of october order was placed and we will create a calendar table that will going to help us produce the continuous date that means if 29 and 30th october is missing this will going to create a continuous table that will help us in filtering of the data so that's why we create the calendar table and then we will going to produce the week number and th for that we will click on the new table first and here i am here in this data tab if you are wondering where i am so table we will call it uh, order calendar right and uh, we will use the calendar function where we need to provide the start date so this should be the first start date of the order when the order was placed so for that we will use the minimum function and we will say order date from super sales store that will bring us the first date when the order was placed max is the maximum date of the order that means the last order when it was placed and the beauty of this is that it will um, whenever a new transaction is coming let's say in your data set this max function will help you take it automatically whenever you are refreshing or running a script again so just after this if you click it a date table is produced based on this you can use various functions like month year and so on and so forth like day even day month year part week number is one which i will show you to bring more fields over here okay so the topic of this video is how you will bring the week number so for that you need to click on the new column and in the new column you will write week number let's say right and uh, you will going to say is the week num function week num and uh, we have ordered a calendar in date and that should be it right so this will going to produce us this is the first week this is when the second week is starting so on and so forth and you can see all of the values over here so that's a very quick way uh, within the power we have using the week num function that you can do that it has an optional parameter if you press comma it has one and two one indicates that week is starting on sunday two indicates that week is starting on monday so if for your uh, for example whenever in, in a normal working scenario the weekday starts on two in that case instead of one which is a default if you don't specify anything it will take one but if you take two then monday will be taken and that's when the week will be started so keep in mind whenever you are doing that and you produce the right output for you so that's the additional information i wanted to show you with that thank you so much for watching and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic